I'm going to add some planes to this part for all the various faces, and I'll teach you some multiple methods that you can use. We'll start with my favorite method, real simple, which is just to click the origin, which immediately puts you into the new plane command. From here, just move it around, select an entity like a point, and you can place it, give it a name, and this is my new top plane. Click OK, and I've got it covered. You can also click the plus button on the planes tab to define it based on a specific type of reference. So in this case, I'll choose solid face and I'll pick my front face. By default, it places at the center of the face. So I'll click the reselect button to move it to the corner of the face that I want it to be at. Click OK. And oh, I need to name it. I forgot to name it. So just double click to rename. For the right view, I'll do another way. This is uh, with the entity normal. So I'll select a vector. In this case, it's just a straight edge. And then I want to pick the orientation I need. I want the Z out and XY positive on the face. So you can see I switched through the options till I get the one I want and click OK. There we go. Now I have a right plane. And if you do change your mind, it's easy to reposition it on that face at any time from there. Uh, let's do one by geometry and we'll do it on the back face. And for that one, I'm going to pick two edges for the X and then the Y axes. And notice it automatically gives me the exact orientation I want because of the order I selected them in, X then Y with Z normal. For the bottom view, I'm going to go normal to that view. Uh, so I want to go normal, we'll use the Alt keys to go normal. So Alt 3, well that's back. Alt 4 takes me to the bottom. That's the one I want. So I'm looking at exactly where I want my view to be and I can now say new plane based on the graphics orientation, the G view. Um, you'll still need to move your origin to where you want it, the preferred location, but it makes it easy to get there if there aren't any flat faces in that specific direction and it's a standard direction. So from here, I can just quickly click through each plane, get the part oriented how I want it, and start programming on each face.